the members of the committee uh, continue to ask for specifics about where these might be found. Um, and we continue to get uh, run around from the superintendent. It's not an I got you deal. Come talk to us. If there is a problem, bring the proof. Show us that this is a rampant problem in, in Oklahoma. State lawmakers on both sides of the aisle continue to call for proof of what Ryan Walters claims is being made available to students in the state. The, the media messaging is it's it's hilarious that in one message, they say there's no pornography, but there was. Now they think it's out, but but now they think it's in, but it's just in a few areas. On Thursday, Walter sent an email containing graphic drawings from what appears to be a graphic novel. We can't show the images due to their nature, but Walters claims they continue to sit on shelves in schools in Oklahoma. In recent months, some districts have removed books off of shelves, but State Rep Mark McBride, the education budget chair for the House, says he needs evidence of this being a truly widespread issue. If they are a problem, we, we want to address them. During his weekly press conference this morning, Governor Kevin Stitt was asked about the superintendent's rhetoric, Stitt saying he stands by Walters. He's easy to, to target maybe, and, and um, I think he has some social media stuff. I don't really get into all that stuff. So I know he's, he's easy to kind of pick on a little bit. Um, but uh, Walters, is, is I know his heart. And his heart is to improve education in Oklahoma. Andy Weber, KOCO 5 News.